What's up and welcome back to the channel. You're probably wondering where this prick has been. Well guys, I've been here. I've been in this fucking room doing fuck all. I've been scripting videos, playing around on the website, doing designs. But other than that, it's technically fuck all. But with that being said, I'm here now. So let's all have a round of applause. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Settle down, settle down. So who do we have to thank for me coming back to do a long form video? Well, Supreme. The iconic brand that's been at the forefront of streetwear for decades is changing hands once again. At this stage, Supreme has been passed around more times than my ex. She didn't get paid as much though. So the VA Corporation, which acquired Supreme in 2020, is now selling the brand to a company called Elisir Lukadiba. I can't pronounce it guys, I'm gonna bang it up here on the screen and you let me know what you think. It's a mouthful, it is a mouthful. So let's talk about what this means and what we can expect next to the brand. But before we get into that, let's talk about the history. So Supreme was founded by James Jebba in New York City in 1994. And over the years it has grown from a small skate shop to a global phenomenon. Known for its limited drops and high resale value. In November 2020, the VA Corporation bought Supreme for a whopping 2.1 billion. However, the VA Corporation has now decided to sell Supreme to Ezlor. I can't pronounce it. I'm just going to call them Ezlor. So the VA Corporation had bought Supreme in 2020 for 1 point, 1 point, for 2.1 billion. First time. Yay. But in any case, they have sold it now to Ezlor for 1.5 billion in cash. So I believe that the 2.1 billion was through shares, but now it's actually sold for physical cash. Imagine it in that briefcase. Just meeting up in a sketchy car park somewhere like, yeah, you got the goods. I got the goods, dude. But with that being said, the deal isn't expected to be kind of finalized at the end of the year. So there's always a good chance they could run away with the money and keep Supreme. I'm joking, I'm joking. So let's get into why this sale happened. Well, we don't really know, but we can go off assumptions. For one, the VA Corporation may be looking to refocus its portfolio. Supreme, while it's intensely popular, it operates differently to other VA brands, such as the North Face and Timberland, where Ezlor is known for brands like Ray-Bans and Oakley. So you could say that they're a fit new owner. They have a strong track record for managing high-end brands. Now let's talk about what we can expect next for Supreme. First of all, product availability, okay? This is a big one, guys. One of the hallmarks that Supreme has is its product availability, guys. Limited releases is it's a part of the brand's identity. With Ezlor's backing, we might see an increase in production, but it's crucial for the brand to hold that, that ex ex exclusivity. I can't even pronounce the word. I don't know what's with me today, guys. But it'll be interesting to see how they balance the increase in availability and then maintain to the course. Yeah. Do you get me? I mean, we want more, but is it gonna damage the resale market? I know, I know, I know there's some of you out there that is only interested in the resale market. Hey, <laughs> with that being said, make sure you go on to our Depop. The Depop link is in the bio. You can cop sneakers like this and many others. Okay? Depop, get it. So second will be collaborations, okay? Eslor owns brands like ray Ban and Oakley, as I've already mentioned. They've also worked with high-end brands such as Ralph Lauren, Burberry, Pratt, etc. So, could we see exciting collaborations between Supreme and Burberry or Pratt and Ralph Lauren? Like, I'm here for it, guys. I am here for 100%. On that note as well, Ray Bans, Supremes. Ray Bans, Supremes. Let's flip that around. Supreme Ray Bans. Yes, lads. I, oh, I'm, I'm open, man. I'm open. Throw, throw whatever you have out there, guys. Throw whatever you have out there. And in case you've been wondering about Big J, James Jebba, the former founder of Supreme, the God, the one and only, okay? The man who literally started from the bottom, now he's here. Well, guys, he's still here, okay? He is still holding his position in the brand, which I feel is, it's beautiful, it's art, it's, it has to happen, okay? He has to stay there, right? He is the brick and mortar, okay? I think it's just gonna hold the brand's identity, to be honest with you. So on another note, lads, the Supreme Web Store has already closed for the season and it will reopen for fall slash winter 2024. During August, I believe, this gives us a glimpse of what's to come and a timeline for what's next in the wave of Supreme products. Yes, I'm getting good at this. Kinda, I can't look at the camera. I just can't. I keep looking at myself, dude. I keep looking at myself. 
grows a chorus with Annie Change that comes massive challenges. Supreme has built its brand off a very particular culture. Maintaining that while scaling up can be crucial. Fans might be wary of the brand losing its edge or becoming too mainstream. Esla will need to tread carefully to ensure Supreme's brand identity. So there you have it. The sale of Supreme to Esla marks a new chapter in the brand's history while there are some exciting opportunities on the horizon. There are also challenges that come with growth and change. But we'll be keeping a close eye on them and we hope to bring you the latest updates on all things streetwear. <laughs> I promise I am going to try to take this a lot more serious. But until next time, don't forget, wear the street, like, subscribe, comment, and share, and double click. Pleasure yourself. Until next time, pleasure yourself again. All right, gentlemen, I want you to repeat after me just how I do it. Ready? Rock, da 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 da